it is Poco X3 or Poco X3 NFC. Everest does and version 14 you guys can see version 1.3 unofficial it is a g apps build uh, sky ino harata is the maintenance android security patches 5th july 2024 which is latest again build date is also july 13th latest build 4.1 4.348 shiru kernel has been used that is also july 13th i'll straight away start with everest base camp here you get lots of customization like theme room you get plenty of customization like monet engine theme style you get plenty of options here too ascent color options are given you can even choose the custom color from here wallpaper color selector is also there it's a new thing and background color if you want you can even choose the custom color from here luminance chroma factor and tint background you can adjust from here i can pack again you get similar to any other custom brown navigation bar font style also you get plenty here we also get air this is really good i can easy to see all the different types of fronts the interface what they have changed is really good signal icon style again you get some different new styles data icon styles wi-fi icon styles volume panel styles as you get one i'll show you outline style yeah this is how it looks like it's my personal favorite and brightness slider style also you can check out like thin yeah you can actually customize these things really cool options and ui style also you can actually customize let's make it to vivid theme it takes some time always yeah this is how it looks like nothing so change but definitely you will love it the customizations quick settings again you get colored qs notification icons if you want them you can actually enable them and again transparency dual tone themed tiles layout you get plenty of customizations brightness slider if you want to show always or expanded or never show you can actually select that header image you can also select multiple here available image offset to another thing you can even position the brightness slider and brightness percentage if you want that you can enable from here yeah, it's currently on the book. Yeah. Status bar again, you get icon manager. Logo. I already kept the evolution. Sorry, Everest OS logo. If you want, you can change them. I can position them. You can even change the color of it. Ascent color. If you choose that, it will be based on the wallpaper. Again, very cool options. Battery style again, you can choose from here. Plenty are given here and even in the qs and status bar where it's much similar and the status bar battery you can add on a regular kind of customizations once you flash this rom you'll get these options again charging icons again if you enable that you get plenty of options just use it once you flash this rom again i'll come back here buttons again you get power menu advanced restart button is available i really like this kind of interface here and power reboot opacity you can actually increase it's already full or uh, dialect dim background amount no i don't want to dim it out let's see yeah this is how it looks like really cool features you can customize to next level each and everything you can customize here as you can see arrow key sensor call volume way volume media button playback control those things are given in the button section and gestures again system gestures one-handed mode you can't easily access as of now but i'll make it access uh, one handed mode and navigation mode gesture navigation as you can see now i have increased the pill length and radius now i can easily access the one handed mode you get plenty of options here too the ui is really smooth by the way and if you want to go back to three button navigation again you get some presets there i already explained swipe to three finger screenshot is not given here we'll check that for a while again tap yeah here it is and brightness control double tap to check the phone if you want you can enable the tap to sleep very good customers lock screen again lock screen styles you will get custom yeah it's showing revaluating system wait for it while again you get clock ios yeah this is how it looks like lock screen you guys can see very much cool 
experience I have with this particular ROM guys and again device info widget if you want you can add them mini widget like uh, torch no as you can see that's really cool the face unlock is very much fast here to unlock your smartphone using this evolution sorry Everest ROM project Everest and you get all plenty of options here too I'll come back here again dynamic clock user switcher and depth wallpaper you get plenty of options again uh, these are the lock screen customizations coming into notifications again heads up options are given you can even snooze them add here blacklist them full stop button clear on notification button annoying notifications you can enable or disable from here again system again charging animation sound engine adaptive sound engine select sound profile like gaming profile smart profile theater music it will be handy feature guys once you start using this rom try to use all these features and customizations you will be enjoyed to utilize them i am really liking it and again volume sound haptics navigation bar navigation mode and revert back to these settings our traditional settings are given here into system again you get charging animation and application downgrade those options are also given here sound engine again we get similar options here too the messed up i think so in the system and notifications no this is notifications yeah island notification i don't like it if you want you can enable or disable from here again edge light options are also given always trigger color also you can select from your custom color and based on the wallpaper you can select them and coming to miscellaneous high fps games is available google photos unlimited storage is also available these are the customizations i mean the base camp of this Everest let's climb Everest yeah we should climb them anyhow now moving to actual settings like display you get necessary settings here dark theme you also get once you enable that it will be not in the pitch black condition but once you enable this it will become in this black condition taking some time for the first time I think so but very good experience guys I turn this off and turn this off yeah, taking some time meanwhile you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't liked my video this video go and like also again night light feature is also available here you can intensity adjust the intensity and shadow them colors keep it boosted new interface reality display engine if you want you can keep it vivid x reality and default refresh rate adaptive refresh rate is available 60 90 75 option is also added here pocket mode is given but i don't recommend to use them these things full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can enable from here sound vibration again print of options here too patterns are given vibration and haptics you guys can see system haptics again you can adjust the intensity of each and everything live caption is also going to work these are accessibility settings we'll be working on that very soon wallpaper sound style again you get home screen mall wallpapers it takes some time space first time whenever you open any of these settings it takes some time but trust me the user interface is really smooth and customizable you get all these options here in the lock screen again you get those customization I'm really liking it and color size and you can adjust them those are Android 14 style actually coming to battery and battery life I have to say one thing is the ideal battery drain is taking 3% overnight uh, depends upon again temperature guys I turned off fan and everything it took 3% if I turned on AC it would be only 1% based upon temperature the ideal battery drain overnight will be 1-3% to 3 that I can say it's not negligible but it will be there and battery saver you get all these options again sleep mode you get all these options battery stats you get plenty of options here too you can check out them healthy charge option is given you can actually adjust the threshold based upon the battery level and charging level optimus charging is also given here security and privacy you get necessary options like app unlock and face fingerprint unlock is also given here i'll show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock you guys can see it's taking some time guys and this is the face unlock yeah taking some time 
yeah it is quite fast and accurate both the fingerprint unlock and face unlock but it taking some time uh, maybe you need to use this rom for couple of hours then it will be better in my opinion again and accessibility menu we will get all that necessary options my personal favorite is this menu without actually using the physical buttons you can actually toggle them and system again you get all these options like Xiaomi parts here you get direct sound settings and clear speaker options and even KCL LCD features per app refresh rate from here thermal profiles haptic feedback level you can adjust from here uh, then this developer options will be turned on but turn it off this is the actual settings uh, we'll show you some results straight away yeah, this is the anti to benchmark result temperature decrease was 4.1 degrees Celsius 4 percentage of battery has been dropped 3 lakh 17,703 is the score 695 is the single score rating 44 is the multi score and at 14 links 4.1 4.34 it review kernel has been used CTS profile match and basic integrity both getting passed here and also the play store is certified here using payment applications is not a problem in this room again wide one level one certification and hd 10 support is given here Hence, you can watch all the OTT application in high definition and possibly high resolution. And this is a read rate speed test with graph and numericals. And you can see it shows charging slowly initially around 12:48 pm. It is 54%. 12:50 it is 56. It still shows charging slowly only. After 1:9 pm it shows 76% and charging rapidly fully in three hours. You guys can see there is a misleading company this sentences, but it. The 33 watt charging support is available in this room. Dialer, you get this kind of dialer, the Google dialer. You get all the necessary options here direct to the call and making call recording, but it will announce the other person that you are recording. And camera application, you get this kind of camera here, HyperOS camera. And the video mode in the ultra wide, you get 4K. Yeah, even in the main camera, you get 4K here. If you want to use, you can use any. Gcam ports, internet connectivity is also, it's fine, game space is also available. Everything is working fine, guys. These are the pre installed apps, and I have installed these apps. FM Radio is also working fine here. Let's see the BGMA and wind of this video. You guys can see in the graphic settings, I already shown how to enable this with this extreme option. Extreme plus options are enabled here. I'm ready liking this strong guys in the wrist project Everest. this is an android for and back to july 13 build and utilize security patch here let's see how it actually handles here and this is how the quick settings toggles if notifications has been added you can check out here and volume panel also again you guys can check out Yeah, finally grab some guns. The gaming experience is fine, guys. And if you want to play Call of Duty or any game, it will be similar experience. You should not forget your smartphone hardware, guys. You don't compare with high-end smartphones again. It's awesome to find here. And if you're still not join the WhatsApp group for this particular smartphone, join the WhatsApp group, guys. It will be more beneficial for you. I don't think so. Any enemies around me? Yeah, there are enemies. And then these controls also you can adjust based upon your liking. Then only the gaming experience will be and very good. I 
don't want to find any enemies here. I just seen them. And the one thing I didn't start enabling this one. The machine. Yeah, that's it guys. This is the game and the experience is really good. And come back here. Uh, that's the average choice. If you have any specific questions regarding this particular ROM, you can comment down in the comment section. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel. We will meet you with another interesting video guys. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.